this food was bought from a food vendor, normal street food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the house. Call it. Lucas stove. Bo Another yeah. product of Botia. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's made local with gas. Coco, coco, coco. Yeah, that's coco tree. Oh, okay. Dead ones. It's also for. You see, the dead trees are now for firewood yeah. and things. Wow. This is nice. Hi. So. I'm told this is an hey, oven. Yeah, is it? It's, it's still bread, oven. Bread oven. Is it for bread alone? Not for. Is it still in use or it was? It was in use. Oh, nice! And the bread comes out nice. Mm -hmm. You put in fire and firewood. Yeah, where do let you not put the bread? Um, you, when you put in the firewood, you let it yeah. burn. 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 Yeah, yeah, you uh, burn it. Okay. And you take out the fire, the, the fire in it. You bring yeah. it out. So the, okay. the whole heat will be... Oh, makes sense. It's just like, you know, when you put cold water in a clay pot. Mm -hmm. He said it's the coldest water you can ever Good. drink. So it's I know I drank it, but it says it's really cold. So you the heat. So you put in the, the bread in the sun. Uh, so yeah. Aluminium. It's a square yeah. shape. It's not okay. a rectangle. Too. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So you put yeah. there, then the bread. Then just the whole heat will be separating then. And you have to give some few minutes to bring it out. Wow. They don't, they don't do it anymore. You don't do it anymore. Usually, uh, the person use this for a while, then okay. when things their business become yeah, okay, then, then they buy the old days. And, oh, but nice. some people do stick to this one. Very this nice. one it seems cost effective. Yes. Yeah, it costs and cost it's very very nice. Mm. Wow. Nice. You just need your pool, something like this, and you attach. Oh uh, yeah, 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 and pool. drag it. Out. I've seen yeah. videos of it before, but very nice. Perfect. But not when water gets to it. Why? <laughs> Because it's when water gets to it, it's um, it's it, it, it okay. Oh, okay, so clear. Ah, okay. You need to wear a roof to cover it up. Oh. And most of the time, you need uh, to use clay to uh, yeah. polish it so that uh, oh. the more you polish it, the more hard it becomes. Yeah, yeah. So wow. Traditionally, that's how we prepare, we cook the, the bread. <laughs> bread. And I'm sure it's sweet. Yes, it's sweet. Yeah. For the tea bread and that one. Yeah. We'll go there. Yes. Fresh oranges straight from tree. Rice with and banana. Wow. No. Which other one again? We have rice and dates. Rice. What kind of rice? White rice or? Yeah, right, white rice. White rice. No. Which one has brown rice and? Yeah, brown rice and Thai ganas. I bought Thai ganas already. That one uh, is maize and Thai ganas. No, that you told me something and banana. Rice with and banana. Rice with and banana. Okay. The one we ate this morning had what? Um, Which was? Maybe soya. Do you have soya? Yeah, we have rice, wheat, and soya. Rice, wheat, and soya. Let me have that. Because I ate one this morning that I don't know. Even the people who bought it can't remember. Rice, wheat, and soya. It's finished. You prefer the banana. Okay. I hope it's nice, so. Oh, that's what you see. Me, I don't live here. Oh, I live in Accra. So if I come back, you go and try. Uh, help you put into swap for me. Yeah. Into swap. Yeah. This yellow one, why is what? Um, yellow corn. Yellow corn. Yellow corn. These brown ones are what? These brown ones are what? Guinea corn. Ah, okay. Let me have some. Just guinea corn. Yeah. Guinea corn. It didn't mix anything. Please let me have some. Hey, your handwriting is fine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they are all the same prices though. Yeah, thank you. Or cheaper, so if possible. Price <laughs> cheap. Hey, it used to be seven CDs. Hey, two CDs. No, you only see two CDs. 
you do on the one with natural spices or without natural spices? Without natural spices. Maybe the ones we drink there, they don't have, they don't put anything inside. Just plain. How do you get it into powder form? Why are you laughing? You don't want to tell me. Eh? This one, uh, shaking your head. It's not uh, safe. It's easy like this. How many have I bought now? Three or four? Four. I think that's enough for it's rice, donuts, and beans. Beans. Yes. W. Oh, <laughs> beans. Well, what of um, rice and coconut? Rice and coconut. coconut. What if I don't like it? Ah, you like it. Oh. You said they can stay for how many? How long? A year. A year. Yeah. How much is this one? Is that? Is this the name of your company? Uh, this one Nayado. Is, is this the name of your company? Yeah. No, okay. And let me have that one you said coconut. with coconut, yeah. You don't have the ones um this millet. No, not millet. Um this big big oblayo. Which one is it? Where is it? Yes, oblayo. So how do you prepare it? Because me cry, I don't know how to prepare it. Too. I've heard they soak it. You have to like soak overnight. it overnight. Then what will happen? You now cook it on the fire. But that's all blind anyway. yeah. What's the English name? Um, capital letters. That's the English name. Capital letters. Yeah, that's how Share. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have how much is it for one cup? Uh, eight Let me have two cups. It's really oh, nice. This one I'll go and Google how to how to make it. I, I, I've heard they soak it overnight. O overnight. So when it's morning, they they will cook it. Yeah, okay. They soak it to make it soft. To make it soft, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that the next morning, next morning you can. Cause it's actually really nice with plenty of milk and. Yeah. That's you say a cup is how much? While they are cooking, um, when it's about to be cooked, they will yes. um, soak um, soft flour. Uh, Any other flour, so that must you put flour? Yeah, a little. Why? To make it. I mean. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, well, let's see how it goes. Is that all? How many have I bought now? One, two, six. Huh. six is that's enough. That's one twenty. Two. Yeah, this one is um um a one is eight. That's sixteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, one, one, sixteen. Okay, one, sixteen. Yes. Sure. This rice is it? White rice or? White rice. Is it local white rice? Yeah. The local one. Okay. This boy, 40 Ghana, halfway to Hey, one cup. Wow. <laughs> Mommy, um, tasty. Uh, uh, fresh. Hey, mommy, one cup. Hi, guys. Hello friends, um, so I'm back in Kumasi, um, I should be living back to Accra pretty soon. I'm about to have some gobe, some gobe is basically beans, this is beans, plantain and some gari, right? So I just wanted to just with you, tell you guys maybe about two things to note about Mjibre. Mjibre, yeah, where I was for Christmas. So there is part of the they're part of the account, but they don't speak Chui. Chui is not their native language, they speak Sefi. Right. That's not to say that they don't speak Chui at all, but their native language is Sefi, right? Then also, I knew this a long time ago, but we've never really had to or well, I have never really had to practice it in um, Accra because Accra 
there are different people in Accra. So over there, they greet from the right. So when you're greeting, I told you guys that they shake over here. It's not everyone that kneels down and over. I'm told in the north you get to kneel down and things. So you shake from the right. That is when there are a group of people. So you start with your right, you shake, you shake to your left, right? So you don't do it the other way. For respect's sake, you do it from the right. So let me know in the comment section if that is applicable to where you're coming from. Not necessarily if you are Khan, but let me know for other cultures. But I'm told that it is peculiar to their Khans. Let me know if it applies in other cultures. Anyway, I just thought to drop that. Yeah, and I also need to add that um, Sashi and Tri are very similar. Okay, for instance, you, in Tri you say it is saying that's how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. In Sashi you say what you say, then you say what you pa. That's how I am fine. So they are quite similar. I'm told the history is maybe they were brothers or something that split up and they went to coin their own languages. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. But they are very similar, very, very similar. So yeah, I just thought to add that as well. Yeah. Would you guys, I'm just in the mood to gist. So pardon me. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I'm sure you must have seen it in the clips before this one where I bought um, different kinds of porridges, well, flowers that are porridges. So, Kumasi is the first place I've ever tasted so many kinds of porridges at, at the same time, or, well, not in a sitting, but at the same time. I can spend like three, four, five days here and taste, taste five different kinds of porridges. I'm like, ah, where well, I used to wonder where my family here got it from. But for some reason, I never asked. I just used to say, oh, what's the name of this one? What's the name of this one? Not until this trip where I, I ate one porridge this morning. I don't remember. Even the people who bought it cannot remember the particular one they bought. So I'm like, you know what? Come, come, come. I'm here. Let me just buy it and take it to Accra. So we went to Opoku Trading around Edum, Edum area. And I bought, like, how many? Is it five or six? So let me just different types. So I'll go and try them. As you can see, I'm, I'm sitting the obvious. Anyway, so I'm going to go and try them in Accra and take note of the ones that I like. And if I need replacements, I would ask my people here to send to me. Tell them the ones I want, excuse me. And then you'll send them to me. I hope I like them though. I hope I like them. There are too many options to choose from. Kai, a lot. Like, I didn't buy Tom Brown because I still have some Tom Brown that was homemade by someone who gifted it to me. So, yeah, that's what I don't know. Let me know, you people in Accra, let me know where you get your porridges from. Yeah, I told you I'm in the mood to just but right now I'm now tired. I've finished eating my food. Let me show you my bit. Is this a good thumbnail? Okay, let me try. Okay, it's not working. Let me take another picture. Thumbnail. Let me know in the comment section if you've been enjoying my village vlogs and things so far. Um, I appreciate all of you for your love. Those of you who always comment, hey, my, mm, well, I really appreciate all you my subscribers, especially those of you who always comment. I mean, it means a lot to me. So at this juncture. I'm going to drop my plates. It smells like there was more money in these beans. It tastes so good. It smells so good. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.